Alright YouTube, so today we are dropping this banger video for y'all boys, so make sure you guys drop that like, subscribe, turn on post notifications for banger videos y'all. And if you are learning, or if you want to learn how to, some tips and tricks, how to get around screens, how to play play shots, cause they be cheesy, doing they curry slide like I showed you guys in the tutorial in one of my latest videos, how to curry slide, they be curry sliding around these screens, and they just be hiding behind screens all day, and I want to be showing you guys how to play against that on the twos court and on the threes court, so you can send this to your squad, your duo on the twos if you guys are struggling with this part in the game so if you guys can do me a huge flavor drop that like subscribe turn on post notifications for more banger videos y'all and let's just change this banger all right you guys so this is more some gameplay that i'm going to talk over it's not really gameplay to look at and how to like stop people from hiding behind screens because i do it as well with a guard that i'm running with i just set a big body they hide behind my screen all that good stuff because that is the main like that's what everybody does in this game basically unless you're a dribble god and you iso and up in the court all that good stuff you feel me but one quick tip is if you're playing twos your center is going to need to hedge unless you're unless you just want your guard to get killed and then once that guard that he's guarding is gets take over it's wraps for you guys and it's just going to be tough to stop him and there may be some people that do not know what a hedge is in NBA 2K21 or all NBAs. So wh what a hedge is basically when someone sets a screen on your guard so he can't get to the other opponent to like defend him, you feel me? Your center has to step up and hedge and like guard him for a few and then get back to when your guard gets back to him. I know it sounds pretty confusing because I do not know how to explain it, but you get the point hopefully and one big factor too is your guard needs defensive badges he needs at least intimidator so he can put a hand up and it'll it'll defend it a little bit and it'll cause him to miss it or throw his shot off because it is contested or heavily contested and you also need to I would not recommend making a tall center like a seven foot center because you're not going to be able to hedge as fast It's not even worth to hedge because they're just going to keep throwing the lob on you And that's one important thing when you hedge when you hedge if the center is good enough after setting his screen He will run to the paint and tell his guard to throw a lob to him so he can get those easy buckets If the guard you are running with wants to run pick dodger he can't throw it on but sometimes i think pick dodger does not work as well but sometimes it may to get those little slips around the center and it can really help you a lot all right you guys so for the threes court what you're gonna want to have the best lineup to run on the threes court probably is uh inside center and a lockdown that could shoot and just have them spot up in the corner and a play shot that's goaded and can all that good stuff you feel me you basically get the just of the best lineup in the game to run on threes that's what i think is the best lineup right now but basically if you have that lineup you're going to want to get the lockdown on the guard so because the lockdown is obviously a better defense than a guard and that could really help out a lot to get those easy stops and i'm pretty sure you can fight through the screens easier and then if you cannot the center will help hedge and then the play shot will guard the corner sitter or the less skilled person that's not iso in with the ball or hiding behind screens the more you play people that do this hiding behind screens all that good stuff you feel me you're gonna get better at it especially if you're center and you're learning how to hedge see right there i would come up and then go down and then go back and then get that clutch block so he does not score the oop you feel me so hopefully this video helped you guys make sure you guys drop that like subscribe turn on post notifications i daily upload and have not missed the upload yet i'm in my bag y'all so if y'all can really do me that favor and yeah i'm out y'all